All right, and here we go. <clears throat> we are getting started. And welcome in, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Mouse Madness. I'm Walt. And tonight, this is Mouse Madness episode 17, if you can believe it. I can't believe it's been 17, <laughs> 17 weeks already that we've been doing this, this show. But welcome to everybody, whether you're watching on the replay or if you're coming into the live chat. We appreciate you being here. We got a fun one for you today, but before we get started on that, for those joining us for the first time, if you haven't already subscribed to Mouse Talk, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way you're notified every time we go live. Also, we do family-friendly live streams every Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we talk about a wide range of things, everything from Disney to Universal to comics. We try to mix it up, so I hope everybody is joining us for the first time, is going to have a good time. And hope you're all having a good time for those that are coming in. And tonight we're going to talk about our favorite Walt Disney World stores. And there's a ton of stores throughout Walt Disney World. But there's certain ones that I really, really enjoy the most. And uh, I'm going to go over those with you tonight. Why I like them. What it is that I like about them. And just kind of go from there. It's going to be a good time. And first and foremost, we want to say hi to and thank you to Dean and the live place over there. Dreamers Empire. Dean is a of course, hosts the show each and every week, and they do family-friendly live streams, so welcome into them, and thank you very much. Uh, please check them out. Lots of great live streamers. Do Disney and other stuff as well, and we want to thank them. And if you're first time in here, of course, we, um, again, we go live Tuesdays and Thursdays, and of course, we also have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we do have a PayPal account for anybody that's looking to uh, donate. Obviously, never, never expected, not expected at all, but just like to say for those that have in the past, thank you for doing that. But uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. Let me see who's in the uh, chat, and we're going to get started here. We got tons of, actually, as I was thinking about it, I didn't realize there were that many stores that I actually love at Walt Disney World, but we have a lot of people in here. Let's say hi to them. What's up, Steve? Steve's in here. Stacy's in here. Hi, Stacy. What's up, Noah? John, welcome in, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Brian's in here. What's up, Brian? How you doing, pal? Brian, I did see your, your message. I got to watch that video on those two guys. I haven't watched it yet, but I want to let you know I have seen them. And Dean is in here. What's up, Dean? Welcome in. Everybody say hi to Dean. The Lucky Minute's in here. Good evening. Thanks for being here. Got a lot of people in here tonight. I appreciate it, everybody. Yes, please, if you're first, you know, joining us for the first time, please go ahead and, and hit that like button. Chris, Phantom Gazer is back. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back. Hope you had a good trip. Let us know about it. Um, what did you think of La Cellier? Did you have a good time? <laughs> did you eat there? Uh, welcome back. We missed you. But welcome in. Chris is back. Dean's in here. John, Noah, I'm glad everybody could join us. We're going to have a good time. I wanted to talk about something different. Oh, that's your cousin's band. Okay, Brian, I'll be sure to, we'll definitely watch it. I have it, and that'll be one of the first things we watch, I promise. Yes, Melissa's right. So many of our favorite people are back. <laughs> oh, thanks, John. I appreciate that. Um, no, you're welcome. Definitely, definitely, uh, it's our pleasure mentioning you in the podcast. Our podcasts aren't taking up off as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> we actually got a dislike on one of our podcasts. So I was like, what did we do wrong? <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just glad people are listening. But um, welcome in. We, and again, tonight are going to talk about a ton of different stores throughout Walt Disney World. And I actually, I was able to find one in each and every one of the parks, including Disney Springs, um, to talk about. Although, I've got to be honest with you, Animal Kingdom was harder than I thought when it came to finding a nice store that I like in there. So we'll definitely get started on that in just a minute. I want to get caught up in the chat, though. Uh, Chris says he did eat at La Cellier, not his first time. That's right. You did say that in your in your um, message, Chris. Steaks are amazing. And Chris says he ate at Boma for both breakfast and dinner. <laughs> oh, that's okay, John. No problem, buddy. We, we just like doing the podcast, so it's quite all right. No problem at all. Oh, thanks, Dean. I appreciate you listening, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Steve's living vicariously through Chris. <laughs> hey, Juan's in here. Welcome, welcome, Juan. How you doing, buddy? Welcome in. Everybody say hi to Juan, who's joining us. We are going to talk about tonight our favorite Disney stores. And I think we're going to take it park by park and talk about different stores that we like, what it is about those stores we like, 
And, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know in the chat or, you know, if you're watching the replay in the comments, let me know if you have something you do or don't like about these stores as we talk about each and every one of them. And there's actually a ton of them out there that I do like, um, but not as many as I had hoped. But um, we'll talk about them for sure. <laughs> that's okay, Brian. I don't know why they give it this like, but that's all right. Must have been something about it they didn't like. So Chris says his hot takes from his Disney trip. Disney Springs is great. Everyone should go eat at the Edison and Raglan Road. After hours at Magic Kingdom is cool, but but do it after a full day at the parks and the festival was cool. Absolutely. I believe that 100%, Chris. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, Stacy, I'm not worried about it. Stacy says, well, don't worry about dislikes on videos. They are still interaction with the video, and you have some people that have nothing better to do. No, that's okay, Stacy. It's ultimately okay. I mean, I'm just glad they listened. <laughs> and they're not perfect. Uh, they're not even close to perfect, to be honest with you. But we have a good time with them. <laughs> Steve says, any building that sells Disney stuff, he's a fan of. Steve, I can't say that. I wish I could. There's a few of the stores there that we I don't even go in. I just, I don't waste my time. Um, I just, something about them, either I don't like, how do I word this? The feel of the store, the um, the way they have the store set up. Some of them I don't, but a lot of them I do. Oh, Noah found some, um, some ice cream bars, Mickey's ice cream bars. That's really cool. Nice. Let's see who else is. Oh, at Publix. Okay, go ahead. Good. Oh, we have a friend who works at Publix. We'll have to make sure he gets us some of those. <laughs> Don't do what he said. Hey, Ray J's in here. What's up, Ray J? How you doing? I want to see Festival of the Arts too, Steve. I would love to be able to do that. Would love to be able to. Hey, Isaac's in here. Welcome in, Isaac. Everybody say hi to Ray J and Isaac. Just stopped in. <laughs> Chris says he is a good episode for him to come back to. He bought all manners of stuff on his trip from different stores. Absolutely. Nathan, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm... We're not either, Dean, and that's part of it, I guess, too. But um, So I'm going to start at Disney Springs, because I figure we'll start there, and then we'll wake, make our way into the park. So for me, one of the first stores, hey, is this D or Miguel? But a Disney life for me is here. Say hi to D or Miguel. Welcome in. Hope you're both doing well. But um, one of the first stores, I think, I mean, obviously, one of the first stores I think everybody loves at World of Dis is World of Disney at Disney Springs. I love that store. As much as I loved it in the past. Hey, Cargo, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. Everybody say hi to D, Miguel, and Cargo who just stopped in. But um, just something about World of Disney is really cool. I love, the, obviously, the size of the store. They have everything. But I like how they, in the past, what I liked about it before the refurb is I liked how they had different sections for different things. Candy was in one section. The girl stuff was in one section. The boys was in one section. The toddlers were in a section. They had stuffed animal section. That was really cool. I like that. But I love the new world of Disney. I love the new layout. I love the new way they've gone with it. I can't think of the word I want to think of. But the, just the way they've set it up now, the world of Disney store is fantastic. It's so, I don't know, it just looks, I love it. I think it's fantastic. What do you guys think of world of Disney? Do you like it better now? Or did you like it the old way? I like it better now. Um, certain things about it are just fantastic. I love the entire layout, the way they have it uh, refurbed. It's just fantastic. Yeah, Chris says, good Lord, World of Disney is massive. I haven't been there since they finished the refurb. I walked in this time and was blown away. It's true. I'm telling you, it's a, it's unbelievable what they've done in that store. And it's fantastic, too. They've done such a great job with it. So many different things to find. Uh, and it can really... Obviously, it can just, you know, it can withstand, excuse me, the crowds. There's a um, Rob, Fro Rob Fuzz burp, <laughs> sponsored by. <laughs> but it is, Steve, I mean, Chris, you're right. It's so gigantic. Yeah, the updates are fantastic, Steve. They really are. They've done, they did it a really nice job. It just looks more, I don't even know what the way, it reminds me of Wild Wilderness Lodge, part of me. Uh, I just, to me, it does anyway. But um, I, I, I just think it's fantastic. And we, we saw it, Steve, when we were down there in October. You're going to be uh, just amazed by it. And um, I'm sure Miguel sees it all the time. Yeah, yeah he says he, lo they, he loves a new layout. It is. It's fantastic. It's such a great layout. 
Stacey, you haven't been in World of Disney in like 25 years. <laughs> she loves it no matter what, even if you haven't been there. I don't blame you. It is a great store. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I like the fact that they kept Stitch um, down there and uh, outside, and he spits the water at you. But what I like about the new store now is all the interactive stuff. Like on the walls, the paintings or the pictures uh, move, and they change. And I think that's fantastic. And that store has everything in there. Everything. And they still have sections that are like just Mickey Mouse or Christmas or this or that uh, or the new 2019 stuff. It's a great store. And, I mean, if you're looking for something, there's no other, there's no better place to go. World of Disney is going to have it. And they move the lines quickly. And I like the way they have the, um, the cashier set up. It's very um, seamless. I love it. I think it's great. Yeah, the artwork is pretty nice, Steve. I agree 100%. See, John says, yeah, the old store format, absolutely, John. We've only seen the new format once. Oh, Ray J was to the one in downtown Disney. Yep, it's still a great store, pre-Disney Springs, yep. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know, it's just, it's fantastic. It, it's such a great store. Now, one of the other stores that's down there that I really love, and I know Melissa does too, and I'm sure she'll chime in on this one, is, of course, one of the newer stores. It's only been open, what, six months now? And that's uh, Disney Style. I love the Disney Style store. I think it's fantastic. They have some of the best stuff, unique stuff. I love that they have one of the old um, Skyway um, cars up there in the, you know, in the sky hanging from the ceiling. I love that they have a teacup in there. The mural of the Magic Kingdom's um, castle is in there. It's really beautiful, and that changes from time to time. And the stuff they sell in there is just unique. And different. Usually what you have in there, you don't find it in some of the other stores. Like some of the t-shirts that they have. Some of the, the cases that they have for your phone cases. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's specific to certain genres, I guess is the word I want to use, is in the Disney Style Store. That's such a great store. It's always busy. But again, where it's situated and with the different doors that they have, it never feels overcrowded. It really is nice. What do you guys think of Disney style? Because I love that store. I believe it, Stacy. I believe it. I believe it 100%. <laughs> I don't think he ate the pizza, Melissa. I think he's... <laughs> but I do. Disney style is... is um, It's just a really cool store. They have such unique t-shirts. I think that's what I liked about it most. And they have all the... Um, the... Um, Spirit jerseys in there as well, and some of those are really nice. I wasn't big on the spirit jerseys at first, but as they've gone on, they've really evolved and they've gotten better. Like they have a Small World, they have Haunted Mansion, some uh, they have a Pirates of the Caribbean one. Those are fantastic. Chris, you haven't had pizza at Disney at Disney yet? Oh my gosh, <laughs> Melissa didn't get it at first. I'm, let me tell you, they. I'm not to get off track, but the pizza that they have down at the little shop on the boardwalk, I can't remember the name of the place. Some of the best pizza I've had at Walt Disney World. I know that's going to sound crazy to folks. That was great pizza. Melissa will attest to that. I'm telling you. John, it is a new store, but it's a really nice store. I'm telling you. Well, via Napoli, of course, Steve. No, they have the best pizza. But this other pizza down at, at on the boardwalk at, um, at Disney, was it was good. It was really good. I was very surprised. But, John, it is. It's a new store that's been there. I don't know. Has Disney Style even been there a year yet? It hasn't been there long. But it's got some of the neatest stuff. And it's just, most of it's unique that you're not going to find in some of the other stores. You'll find some of it, but this is where you're going to find the majority of it. Chris says he went to some crazy bath store and got these huge bath bombs for one of my daughters. They had a ridiculous amount of bath stuff. Yeah, is that Basin? Was that Basin, Steve? Um, Chris, it might have been Basin. I know that's down there. Uh, <laughs> I think the Disney Character Warehouse store counts, Noah. And I tell you what, I didn't put it on my list because I didn't think of it. But that's a great pick. And you can get some of the best stuff there at such a great discounted price. So, Noah, that's, that's a fantastic pick. Yeah, Steve, I think it's Basin. I think that's the one. Yep, for sure. 
Oh, we definitely want to go. Hey, Meg, welcome in. Everybody say hi to Meg. Mickey's Magic's in here. Welcome in, Meg. We're talking about Disney stores. Stacy says, fun fact about Via Napoli. They have, the, they have their water shipped in from somewhere in PA because it's the closest to the water from Italy. Huh, how about that? I didn't know that. <laughs> Richie's having pizza for lunch today. There you go. But that's my second one. I had five stores that I thought off, off, off the top of my head that were at Disney Springs that I just really like them. My third one, of course, is the art of Disney. I love Disney art. I think it's one of the reasons why I want to go to um, Festival of the Arts so bad. They have some of the most amazing artwork. I, I keep telling Melissa, maybe we shouldn't go to Festival of the Arts because we're going to come back broke. <laughs> and it's true, we just are, because there's so many different pieces of artwork that are fantastic that I love, and I would love to be able to hang them all around this room. Because at some point, this room's going to become a Disney room. And uh, definitely, in my opinion, Art of Disney is a great, great store. I don't know what you guys think of that place. It's not cheap. <laughs> I probably will never buy anything from that store, but I think it's fantastic. <clears throat> it is Basin. Okay, uh, Chris, that's what I thought. Samantha Lowe, welcome in. Everybody say hi to Samantha. Hope you're doing well. We're talking Disney stores. Disney stores. Best ones we have out there. And you guys can chime in with your worst, too. There could be some out there that you guys don't like. And I totally get that as well. <laughs> Steve, I don't blame you. I wouldn't let anybody touch anything either in that store. You can look at some of those artworks. And the ones that are, like, framed artwork, they're like $500, $800, $300. I'm like, holy macaroni. <laughs> The bookshop at, at Disney Springs. I know which one you're talking about, John, and I can't think of the name of it. Oh, thanks, Meg. I appreciate that. It's funny, Meg. We we got the twelve hundred. I woke up the next day and we were at eleven ninety seven. <laughs> we had lost three subs overnight, and then we went back up to eleven ninety nine, and then we fell to eleven ninety eight, and now we're right now at twelve hundred. But I don't think it's going to last long. We're probably going to fall under again. <laughs> we seem to always do, but that's okay. Now, I appreciate it though. Thank you. It's been a it's been a roller coaster ride for sure. Oh, the ganachery. That's a good. I know that one would make Melissa's list. Chris is the ganachery. Uh, I'm I'm not big on chocolate. I don't mind chocolate, but I don't I don't know. Stacy, yeah. Um, I, John was talking about the the bookstore down at Disney Springs. And I can't think of the name of the store. I know which one he's talking about, but I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, I think it's just clearing spam accounts too, Meg. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Noah. I appreciate it. But yeah, no, you're close to 200. I think you're like at 191, 192. Right there, buddy. Uh, Ghirardelli's down there too, Steve. You have the Ganachery and you have Ghirardelli. Two totally different stores. Melissa got some stuff at the Ganachery last time in. She liked it. It's expensive though. It's not cheap. Yep. I don't remember the name of the store, uh, John. I wish I did, buddy. So that was my third one, was Art of Disney. And, of course, one of the other ones I like, I love the Goofy's Candy Company store. I'm sorry. I just do. They have the sours, the little sours that are shaped like Mickey heads, Mickey ears, that are, they remind me of, like, Sour Skittles or Sour Patch Kids. I love those. And I just love the, get the Goofy's Candy Company store. It's fantastic. Heck, you can use your... Your snack credits in there. If you got five snack credits left before the, and you're at the end of your trip, just go to there and get like five snacks and take them home with you. That's what we do. Um, Meg, we haven't talked about Memento more yet. We're not at the Magic Kingdom yet. We're Magic Kingdom yet. We're kind of going uh, area by area right now. We're starting with Disney Springs, but Memento Mori might make the list. You never know. Yeah, uh, Chris is right, Steve. There's a Ghirardelli and a Ganachery, and they're both really, really good. And I had heard, and Melissa, and you probably have all heard this, that I heard that Ghirardelli was going to stop giving away the free samples. I don't know if they've actually done that or not. At first I heard they were, then they brought it back. I, I don't know where they are with that. Chris says he, the Ganachery is over by the Edison. Just wandered in a while while I was waiting for my reservation. Absolutely good place. Melissa got these little, I think it was Melissa got one of these little, little ones. I mean, like real little ganacheries for like five bucks or something. I can't remember what it was. It was expensive. 
So definitely expensive. Absolutely. Yeah, I love a sour. Yeah, me too, John. Yep. But for sure. I don't know how much they lose or not, Steve. You know, I don't know. Maybe they do. So they have stopped. Okay. Yeah, D, that, uh, Miguel, that's what I heard they were going to do, and that's too bad. But um, I don't know how much they're actually losing. No, that's okay, Meg. Absolutely. Meg says, I, I would like to spend more time at Disney Springs, but since I'm an annual pass holder, I t try to spend as much time at the parks. Don't know much about Disney Springs. That's okay. But Meg, try to spend more time down there if you can. There's a lot to experience. A lot of great stores. Lots of great, great restaurants to, to uh, experience. If you can, try it. Because over time, we have grown to love Disney Springs. Because we weren't big fans of downtown Disney. But since it's it's turnover to since it's turnover or changeover to Disney Springs, we love it down there. It's fantastic. <laughs> Steve says, make sure you fix that before August, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, in other words, make sure they're selling them again. Tell them, tell them we need them. There you go. That's exactly right. Man, that's right, Miguel. That means you got to move down there. Yeah, the food is great. I agree, Chris. Meg, you would have a good time there, for sure. Hey, Amy Scott, welcome in. Everybody say hi to Amy. Welcome in, Amy. Hope you're doing well. Well, you know what, Steve? I get that. It just depends on the store. And we'll get to another one, too, in a minute here. But I really like this store. And the other one I like down there, we talked about Goofy's Candy Company. But the other one I really like down there, I like the Marketplace Co-op. I really do. I love the co-op. It's like this big area with little stores inside of it. And most of them are Disney related. But I love the co-op. There's so many different things in there that you can find. Um, they have the, the, the store for the animals in there. They have the dress shops in there. They have the store in there for the, uh, for the phone cases. They have a lot of really nice stuff inside the Marketplace co-op. I don't know what you guys think of it. But I think the co-op is a great place. <laughs> Meg says she's looking into it now. Say, look, everybody's thinking about making Meg move down there. That'd be funny for sure. Chris says he was there for a random Tuesday night, and there were tons of people and music acts everywhere. I spent 20 minutes watching some lady play an electric violin. She was great. Yeah, I'm telling you, Disney Springs is almost like a fifth park for the for Disney because it's really it's an experience. It really is. Amy, welcome in. Let's keep going here. But I do. I really like the Marketplace Co-op. I think the Co-op is a neat idea. Little stores, not these gigantic stores. You can get like 8 to 10 stores in there. I think it's really cool. Lots of variety, different things you can find. Still Disney-centric, and it's really cool. I really think so. Hey, Rob! Rob Fuzz is in here. Everybody say hi to Rob. What's up, Rob? Welcome in, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Definitely. Glad you're here, buddy been a long day, guys. <laughs> I've had such a long day at work. I appreciate everybody being here, though, for sure. Amy says, Disney Belize Marketplace, then Downtown Disney and Pleasure Island, West End, then Disney Springs. Yeah, it's definitely evolved over time, Amy. You're 100% correct. Lindsey Sterling. Oh, geez. Here we go. Don't, don't start, Melissa, on Lindsey Sterling. <laughs> yep, there you go, Meg. If you ever, you got people down there when you're ready to move. Rob's in here, everybody. Say hi to Rob. Stacy. Let's see. Melissa making salmon mashed potatoes with cauliflower and veggies one summer. Don't tell her that, Brian. Do I remember the original name of Disney Springs? No. Stacy, I don't remember. Ah, it's okay, Cargo. We're just glad you're here. Um, does anybody else remember the, the original name of Disney Springs? What were they going to name it? I, I, I can't remember, but Stacy, let me know what it was, because I can't remember. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, no salmon for Melissa Bryant, for sure. Downtown Disney? <laughs> That's what I would have said, too. I mean, that was the name. But, no, I think before they were even going to name it Disney Springs, they were going to name it something else, too. Marketplace? Maybe it might have been Marketplace, Rob. That's a good guess. Amy, that could be it, too, the Disney Village Marketplace. Disney Village? I can't remember, guys. I know Pleasure Island was there when, when it was downtown Disney, but I can't... Hey, Arjun! Richard's here! Everybody say hi to 
to Arjun. Welcome in, buddy. Hope you're doing well. The Walt Disney World Shopping Village. Okay, how about that? Didn't know that, Stace. That's really cool. <laughs> Everybody say hi to, to Arjun, who just stopped in. Welcome in, Richard. Hope you're doing well. Are you home or are you at a park today? Yeah, the marketplace, Rob. Yep. And we were just talking about the co-op. I love the co-op. So there you go. So that's Disney Springs for me. Those are the stores down there. There's tons of other stores. I mean, tons of other stores at Disney Springs. But those are the five for me that I really enjoy going into when I'm down there. I really do. I just think they're fun stores. And um, if you get a chance, check some of them out. I think you guys would really, really like them. Now let's move on to Epcot. Because Epcot was the hardest for me. Because there's a ton of stores at Epcot. And um, I, I didn't know where to start, but I, tr I narrowed it down to just five in Epcot as well. Yes, Miguel, you're going to have to join us for a bit in August for sure when we come down. We we'll definitely have to do that. Hey, Rob, no problem, buddy. We'll be here. But we're going to start with, for me, I'm going to start in the Morocco Pavilion. Because first off, the Morocco Pavilion is probably my favorite pavilion. And for me, I love the Casablanca Carpets. It's a store in there that sells carpets, and these are handcrafted carpets that look fantastic. I love these carpets. Now, they're expensive as anything. <laughs> I don't think I could ever afford one of them, but I would love to buy one of these carpets. They also have these probably about this size lanterns that, are look, that look really, really cool in this store at the Morocco Pavilion. I think they're absolutely amazing. I would love to get one. But I love that. It's called Casablanca Carpets in the Morocco Pavilion. They have the carpets. They have the lanterns. They have, I think they sell the fezes as well. It's just a really cool store inside the pavilion at Morocco. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think that's such a great store. I'd love to get something from that store one time. One time. It is unique. It definitely is, the Lucky Minute. It is a unique place for sure. Um... For sure. And, and we'll get to some of those other ones you guys are saying in the um, in the chat for sure. Meg was talking about the Japan store and Steve says, yep, it's awesome. Yeah, it might have been the art store, um, John, for sure. The bonsai trees, Steve says, uh, a master sword umbrella. It is amazing. I know it's not exactly uh, what you're talking about, Meg. Chris says, UK, Japan, Germany. Wow, you bought stuff at, stuff at all those, Chris? That's pretty cool. They did, they do... You know, I went in there this last trip, and I, I no, they still sell them. And the carpets are, you can get little carpets, or you can get gigantic carpets, Stacy. They really do sell them, and they're fantastic. I love them. Uh, Noah, that one might make the list. Well, we're, we're, in, um, we're in Epcot, and I'll let you know if that one makes the list for sure. <laughs> Meg, I don't know if they sell magic carpets for sure, but I wish they did. But, um, yeah, so that's my first one, Casablanca Carpets over in the Morocco, Morocco Pavilion. But I also got to say, for me, it's got to be the bizarre area in the Mexico Pavilion. And that's kind of the, not the stores that are inside, but just on the, like, with the little carts out and about in the Mexico Pavilion. I bought a poncho, which I can't find, by the way, at one of those, one of those little carts in the Mexico Pavilion. I absolutely love that poncho, which I now can't find. And, um... I love that area of the stores. They have such little stuff that's really cool, little trinkets you can buy, ponchos you could buy, um, all kinds of great stuff in the Mexico Pavilion. I love that store, that little area right in there. We go there all the time, and it seems like every trip now, I either want to buy something or I actually do buy it for sure. Well, what do you guys think of the Mexico Pavilion? It is expensive, Steve. It definitely is. That Morocco Pavilion is expensive. <laughs> Cargo, you're funny. Twinings. There you go, Meg. Absolutely. They're all magic carpets, the Lucky Minute says. Yeah, my favorite is definitely the Morocco Pavilion, Meg, for sure. Oh, a Mexican blanket. There you go. That's a good idea, Amy. Yep, that's right. That's right, Richard. You're right. Maybe it will become a magic poncho. I don't know, Meg. I just, I, it, it must have flown away because I can't find it. Uh, Steve, I think it's right there. I really love the Morocco Pavilion. I, I just think it's such a great pavilion for sure. 
But I do love the Mexico Pavilion too. And these were two pavilions that for the longest time I wasn't a big fan of. But as I got to see them more and more, I just, I became big fans of them. Big fans of them. Yep. That's the other thing too, Chris. You can ride the three Caballeros while you're in there as well. But, I don't know. I just, I really love the bizarre area in the Mexico Pavilion. So that's, that's the second one for me. Now, third one. Two in the Germany Pavilion for me, and Melissa knows exactly what I'm talking about. First of all, the Caramel Couche is absolutely a must-stop every single trip. We're in there at least twice every single trip. I'm getting a cluster. Melissa's getting popcorn, caramel popcorn. I can smell it two pavilions away, and it just draws me in. I love the caramel. Is it Couche or Couche? I don't know how they say it. But all I know is it's fantastic. The chocolate, the caramel, the co the popcorn. Unbelievable smells in there. I love that store. We buy something from there every single time we go. It's like, here, just take my money because I we have to buy something every time. I just love the caramel couche at the Germany Pavilion. Meg says, what's everybody's favorite spot for illuminations? That's tough, Meg. Probably for me, I would say either... The Canada, the Canada Pavilion or the Japan Pavilion from the second deck of where Tokyo Dining is. That's probably where I would say. Yeah, it is, Amy. It's set up in the Morocco area just like it. You're right. <laughs> Stacy, I had Stacy and Caramel. Yes, the Caramel Couché. I'm telling you, it's such a great place. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Oh, my gosh, and the lucky minute, that's exactly where I was going next. You hit it right on the head. The other store I like in the in the, um, in the the Germany Pavilion, to me, if you want to go out, buddy, i got to let the dog out. I'm sorry. If he lets me. Go ahead. There he goes. Sorry, guys. Is the store with the clocks. The cuckoo clocks are out of this world. I told Melissa, I said, please buy me one of those clocks for my birthday or Christmas. They are fantastic clocks. I agree 100%. Great, great place. Great clocks. Again, really expensive, though. <laughs> really, really expensive. All right, let me get caught up in the chat. Man, you guys are so fast tonight with, the, with it. Oh, my gosh. Meg, there's so many different... I don't really know that there's a bad place to watch the Illuminations there. Arjun says, this is from the boat on the Illuminations cruise. Mickey's Magic. Yeah, I'm sure it was, Richard. <laughs> But um, there you go. So that was my next one. Oh, how about that, Steve? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool, buddy. But I do. I really love the shop where you can buy the clocks. I think those clocks, they're, they're, you know, they're handcrafted. They're originals. They're, they're, they're so unique. They're so beautiful. I love them. If anybody wants to buy me a clock, you can. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They are fantastic. Those clocks are unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Yes, uh, Amy, that would be a good spot if it's not blocked off. I agree 100%. Yeah, <laughs> Steve got a fast pass. That would be the best spot, too. I agree. <laughs> Meg says she studied English for 25 years. Me, too. I'm not very good at it, though. <laughs> that is so funny. So there you go. That's the other one in the Germany Pavilion. And Meg, you're right. Meg said this, and I think a couple other people said it as well. Obviously, Mitsukoshi at the Japan Pavilion is such a great store. It's wonderful. It's gigantic. They have everything. If you want something, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, any of the anime or any of that stuff, they have it in there. It's such a great store. Um, I don't think they don't have there's nothing they don't have in that store some of the dresses that they have are beautiful they have all kinds of different stuffed animals you name it they have it and i love how you can do the little pearl thing where you can open up the clam and get the pearl in there it's such a great store the mitsukoshi store has been around for forever too it's so awesome i love that store my kids will go in there hello kitty that's right melissa you're right um they'll go in there for hours my two sons, because they love that stuff, first off, will go in there, and they'll be in there for a couple of hours. They really will. They'll go in there for forever. They love it. Yeah, the green tea Kit Kats as well. You're right. Oh, my gosh. So many different things. They really will. They'll, they, they, 
they're fantastic. Yeah, they do have great candy. They have everything in that store. You can find something for everybody. I agree. Yep, they do. They have candy. Yep, right. The food and the candy in the back area. It's such a great store. They have, you name it. Walter does. My son, our oldest son, loves getting the different candy from the Japan Pavilion. Because he's just, he's into that stuff. <laughs> Meg says she would go grocery stock, grocery shopping in that store. I believe it. I'm telling you. Uh, they have everything. They really do. It's it's unbelievable in that store. <laughs> Melissa, you should try one of the one of the one of those Kit Kats. That would be funny. All right. So there you go. So that was the Japan Pavilion, and Noah mentioned it earlier, and it's true, and it has to make the list for me. Is obviously Mouse Gear. Mouse Gear is a cool store. They have a little bit of everything too. What I like about Mouse Gear is they have Epcot specific merchandise. T-shirts, hats, mugs, you name it. They have Epcot specific merchandise at Mouse Gear, which you don't get in most of the other places. Most Obviously, the, the pavilions are going to have pavilion specific stuff, but Mouse Gear has Epcot specific stuff. And that's what I like about that place because you can't get very much of it and that's where you can get it for sure. <laughs> no, no shame at all, Meg. I agree. <laughs> Our chat says he's going to follow Cargo around and pick up all the candy she drops. That's so funny. Yeah, that's right. They do have a sake bar. You're right. That's right. No, I do like Art of Disney, Steve. I thought I said that earlier. I, I was talking about the one down at Disney Springs. I do like the Art of Disney. You're right. I think that one's really cool. I, I do. I really do. I like that store. But I do. Mouse now Gear, I don't know. It's just, it's a really cool store. They've got a little bit of everything. And um, it's it's gigantic. It's really big. And again, you can get the Epcot specific stuff in there. And they have a ton of it too. And a lot of the Epcot stuff is really nice. And, um, and yet they never seem to run out of it. <laughs> At least not when I'm there. Steve says his favorite store in Epcot is the pin store. There you go. Good store. Really, Chris, you got your pennies book at Mouse Gear. How about that? See, I didn't even know they sold them. But they do, and I love that store. I just think it's a fantastic store. I also like where it's situated in Future World. It needs to be right where it is. It's, it's close enough that if you're in World Showcase, on your way out, you can get to it. On your way in, you can get to it. It's, it's perfectly located as well. <laughs> I know, Meg. I agree. That's a good one, though. That's a good way. That is a good way to get back and forth for sure. And not only that, it gets you out of the heat, it gets you into the air conditioning for a while. A hundred percent. Yep, I agree. Hundred percent. So that's Epcot. So we've done Disney Springs and we've done Epcot. Now we're going to move over to the Magic Kingdom. Um, actually, you know what? We'll save Magic Kingdom for last. Let's go to Animal Kingdom. And for me, out of all the different places in Walt Disney World, I think this one is probably the one park that I have the least amount of stores that we spend any time in. And I know that sounds crazy, but we just don't. We don't spend a ton of time at the Animal Kingdom stores. I'm not major fans of these stores, and that's why I want to hear from you guys. Maybe I'm missing one. But the only one I really like over at Animal Kingdom is Discovery Trading Company. I like that store. We go in there a lot. It's one of the first ones you get to. I like Discovery Trading Company. They have a little bit of everything in there. Again, Animal Kingdom specific stuff, which is cool. They have the um, the stuffed animals and all the all the stuff that you would want to get right there. So I do like that one. Chris says his favorite store is Club Cool at Epcot. That's a good one. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Island Mercantile is Meg's go-to. Okay. And Stacey asked me, Walt, what do you think of the reusable bags they have started using at all the parks? I want one of each size from every park. I, Stacey, I love them. I think they're great, personally. I think, um, I think they're fantastic. I'm glad they're using them now. And um, we can't wait to get them. I want one of each size, too. And um, I think they're fan-fantastic. I'm glad they're doing it. 
And the bags look amazing. I love the bags. I think they did a really nice job on them. So I love the bags. And I love that they're specific to each part. The Epcot bag's got the, you know, has Spaceship Earth on it and other things too. Magic Kingdom bag has, um, I think, what, It's a Small World and the Castle. I think they're all great. I love them. I think they're really cool. It's a long time coming, and I'm glad they're doing them. I really do. I'm really glad they're doing them. The Dinosaur Store is a good one too, Cargo. Yep. Uh, Wind Traders is neat because you can get the Banshees there, Steve. But I haven't been in there long enough. The Everest Gift Shop is really cool too, the Lucky Minute. Absolutely, I agree. That, it's true, Chris. Me too. I mean, I, I don't know why. I just don't spend a lot of time in the Animal Kingdom stores. I don't know why. Yeah, that's true, Meg. You're right. It is tricky because a lot of them are outside. That's true. That's a good point. Yep. Yep. And that's true, too, Meg. And that's what's going to make the difference for a lot of folks. What might be a good store for some might not be a good store for others. Like, see, I wouldn't even think of it for pin trading, Meg, because we're not into the pins. But for you, if they have a great board in there, it's going to make for a good store for you. So that makes perfect sense. <laughs> what about the Disney Store Mall of America? Uh, you're talking about World of Disney, Nathan? If, if you're talking about that one, yes, that one definitely made the list. Absolutely. A night blossom, then jump into wind traders. There you go, Steve. It's a good idea. Yes, I think that that is the drink with the um with the little with the little balls in it, Meg, for sure. I'm almost hundred percent. Yeah, I I don't Amy me either. I just don't have a favorite store at Animal Kingdom. I wish that I did, but I just don't. Hey, Dougie's in here. What's up, Dougie? No, I appreciate you stopping in. Don't even worry about it. I know it's late where you are. Good seeing you, bud. Take care. Everybody say hi to Dougie before he heads out. No problem. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy about Animal Kingdom that there's not as many stores as I would think that I could actually say, oh, I love this store. Oh, I can't wait to go into it. It's just not not for me over at Animal Kingdom. And I guess it sounds like I'm not alone. For sure. No, I agree. I, I just, I don't know. It's not, it's not for me, for sure. Yeah, they do have some similar drinks to that, I think, Steve. You might be right. Oh, really, Meg? I didn't know that. Did you know that, Melissa? The Bobo Balls are vegan. How about that? So there you go. So that's the only one I could pick at Animal Kingdom. I hate to say it, but it's, it's the only one. But, um... Now I want to move over to Hollywood Studios. We'll save Magic Kingdom for last. So over at Holly, Hollywood Studios, same thing. I hate to say it, but it was hard for me to find stores over at Hollywood Studios that I would say, oh my gosh, i got to go into these stores. And again, you guys can, can definitely jump in. I want to hear which ones are your favorites. But the one I do like, I like Tatooine Traders. Obviously, you, you, you have to go into that as you uh, exit Star Tours because I love Star Wars, and I love the Star Wars merchandise in there. And I like that you can build your own... Um, lightsabers, and they have Star Wars t-shirts and stuff like that. And my son one year bought uh, Darth Vader headphones that he could use, and I thought those were really cool. So I love Tatooine Traders. I think that's a really cool store. And the other one I really like over there at Hollywood Studios is just as you're coming in, I think it's off to the right, is the Dark Room. I really love the Dark Room. I think that's a cool store. Well, the Lucky Minute, here's what I'll say about the Muppet Store. It's not big enough. They don't have heart. For that store, it's called the Muppet Store, and 75% of the store is other stuff. It's only got like a 25% of, the, of, of it is Muppet stuff. It's barely any Muppet stuff in there. And Melissa and I are so disappointed every time we go in. We're hoping it would be this giant store with tons of Muppet stuff, and it's not. It's not that we don't want it to be one that we love. We would... But there's just not a lot of merchandise in there for the Muppets. You know, I, I wish that they had more of it, but they just don't. And, and it's really, really too bad, too. But, um, you know, I don't know. Hey, Dougie! Buddy, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. Dougie, thank you for the, for the super chat, pal. I, I definitely appreciate that. It's very generous. Thank you so much. Everybody, please thank Dougie for the super chat. That was very generous of him. Thank you, Dougie. Definitely means a lot, buddy. Thank you for sure. 
And please sleep well. Don't don't even think I, I don't even know what to say. But thank you very much for that. Definitely means a lot. Everybody, please thank him for that super chat. That was very nice, Dougie. Thanks, pal. Hope you're doing well, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Dougie. Definitely appreciate it. And Melissa, you're right. It's like it's like five percent Muppets in that store. Thanks, Dougie, again, pal. Definitely appreciate it. That was very generous. It, it cargo. It did. It used to have more Muppet stuff, but now it just it doesn't have it. Uh, the villain store is another one, Amy. You're right. They used to have a villain store. Then they got rid of it. I remember it because then we got a villain's beach towel one time. Loved it. Had every single villain on it. And we still have it to this day, and it, it's probably 20 years old. But it, it just, they, they just got rid of it. I don't know why. But the Muppet Store, I would like to use that and, and, and put that on the list, but I just can't. It just doesn't have a lot, for sure. But he sleeps super chatting. I know, Melissa. Thank you, Dougie, again. <laughs> he hit the button in his sleep. Maybe. I don't know. He might have. Oh, you guys are so funny. Thank you. The Rock and Roller Coaster story is cool too, John, and you get that as you're coming out for sure. Yeah. Ah, the Tower of Terror store. Good one. That's a good one, Chris. Definitely a good one. A lot of unique stuff in there. There are cool hidden Mickeys in, in, the, in there, Steve. You'll have to show us some of them because I can't remember all of them. For sure. Oh, a Villains Park would be nice, Meg. They're not going to do that. Yeah, I hope not, John. I hope they're not phasing them out. I hope not. Yeah, it, the store is bigger. Melissa's right. The store is bigger, but it has less Muppet stuff. I don't know that one, Brian, but we'll have to look at that one time. But there you go. So the, the Tatooine Traders, I said, obviously because of Star Wars. But what I like about the Dark Room is for one, it's one of the last stores as you're going out. And we always hit the stores at the end of the night as we're leaving the park. But they have such an incredible collection of mugs in that store. And I always try to get Melissa to buy a mug. She won't buy them. She thinks it's a waste of money. I don't know. I like them. But I love the mugs in the store of the dark room as you're heading out. I think it's the dark room. I'm 99% sure. I love all the different mugs you can get in that store. Then they have like kitchen set stuff you can get, like houseware stuff you can get, uh, like hand towels and stuff like that. They have a lot of really cool stuff in that store. I love the darkroom store. Stacy says, sorry I had to step away for a second, but I was still listening. I had a thought about the reusable bags. I wonder if they're going to come out with bags for each resort as well. They might. Stacy, they might. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see how well they do. I think they're going to do well. <laughs> Cargo says, "Cargo, that's funny." Cargo says, "Here's the problem with the stores in um, in um, Hollywood Studios. If I'm in one, it means I'm not in Epcot." <laughs> Chris, you wrote it seven times in a row. Oh my gosh, I don't even think I could do that. I don't think I could ever do that. I don't think I could ever do that. Hey, my Disney Park memories, welcome in. Everybody, say hi to my Disney Park memories. Thanks for stopping in. Tower of Terror store is a good one. Just never on that ride, so I never get to see the store. Yet, Meg, that's true. Get a break from the sun and the heat, go in the stores. Absolutely. And the thing with us is, is when we when we book our trip, we do our best to try to put we do it we do it ahead of time. We try to get as much money saved up as we can, and we say, This is souvenir money. That's it. That's our souvenir money. Once it runs out, it runs out. <laughs> Normally. But we do, because we, we like to buy, I like to buy souvenirs, if, if I can. T-shirts, mugs, whatever it has, kind of remind me of the trip, if I can. And that's what we do. But it's not easy. I mean, a lot of this stuff is so expensive. And, and what else can you do? Let's see who else? Ross Merrill Tour Services. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Everybody say hi to Ross Merrill Tour Services. Thank you for stopping in. We're talking Disney stores. But I do like the darkroom. I don't know. Has anybody else been in the dark room? Do you remember that one? That's a good one. I really do think that's a great store. Definitely appreciate everybody stepping in tonight. Thank you all. We're having a good time with it. I <laughs> just buy the art. Lucky minute. I wish I could buy the art. That would be great. I would love to do it. <laughs> Chris.
Chris says, yeah, it was great. Got there at rope drop, and they dropped it at 840. Then 80% of the crowd ran off to Toy Story Land, so you walked on. I agree with that. That's the right idea. Go in the opposite direction of the crowd, for sure. Yep, I agree. Smart. Yep, talking Disney stores, definitely. And there's a ton of them. But only two at Hollywood Studios. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't do them. Oh, my gosh. The lucky minute. You'll have to send us some pictures so we can see some of the artwork you have. I'd love to see it. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I think the Dark Room is a great store. I really do. Oh, wow. A big group going down March 12th. Have a great time. That's fantastic. I hope it, I hope so. That sounds good. That sounds good, Raw Smeal Tour Services. Hope you guys have a great time. Oh, yeah. I would like to get that castle in the Germany Pavilion, too, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> Brian, that's too expensive, buddy. Meg does do great artwork, for sure, Meg. You can sell some of that at Disney, too. I know you could. All right, let's keep going here. So now we're going to move on over to Magic Kingdom. And, of course, Magic Kingdom is so, so big. And there's so many different stores at Magic Kingdom. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot on my list that don't make others and, and vice versa. Yeah, the animator store was neat too, Amy, before it became Launch Bay. I agree. But here we go. So over at Magic Kingdom, one of the first ones is, of course, the Emporium. I love the Emporium. I think it's a really cool store. Basically, the Magic Kingdom stores from the Emporium all the way up to Casey's is like one giant store. <laughs> it is, but it isn't. There, it, I mean, you can connect all the way through. But I love the Emporium. I think it's so much fun in there. Lots of great stuff. Um, it's right at the end of the park. So if it's the end of the night and you're trying to, you know, kind of wait for the crowd to, to just go out, you can do that. You can head into the Emporium, and it's fantastic. I love the Emporium. I also love right on the other side of the Emporium, you have the confectionery, which is really cool. Lots of great candies. You can get your candy apples. You can watch them making the candy apples in there and some of the other great treats that they make in there. Uh, again, it's right in there by the by the um, you know the entrance to the park. It's a fantastic place to be. I love the, the confectionery too. I just think it's fantastic. Yeah, French fries at Casey's for sure, Meg. I agree 100%. The Penny Arcade, I remember that. Splashdown photos, John. That's a good one. <laughs> Art shots. Art shots. I know you're going in August, buddy. Yes, Amy. Good, good picks. Absolutely, hundred percent. Yep, the confectionery cargo. I'm telling you, I love that store. I love the confectionery. Memento Mori. Good one. Disney Park memories. Absolutely. The ice cream parlor is right there too, John. You're right. <laughs> Memento Mori is number one for Meg. Number one. That's funny. But I do. I really love the confectionery. I love the Emporium. The other one I really like in Magic Kingdom is. It's on Main Street, and you guys are going to have to help me, help me with this one. What's the one where there's the artwork in it? Uh, it looks like you're going into a theater. It's on the right-hand side if you're heading towards the castle. Left-hand side, obviously, if you're heading away from the castle. I can't think of the name of that shop. Does anybody know which one that is? Ross Merrill's Tour Services says, Can anyone suggest where to find hard-to-get pins? Pin Traders doesn't have what I am looking for. Limited edition Tomorrowland pin from the movie. Meg, maybe you can help them with that. I know you're a big pin, pin person. Let them know. Melissa says she likes the Poo Store. Uh, she says, I like the Poo Store too, but that is another one that I wish I had more selection of Poo merchandise. Yep, agreed. I agree. Oh, yes, Meg, the Beauty and the Beast Store. Good pick. Absolutely. The one right over by Gaston's Tavern. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Nice pick. Absolutely. <laughs> Transport gift. That's a good one, John. That'd be a good name. For, that'd be a good store. Absolutely. That would be fantastic, John. Good idea. Meg says a whole store about her favorite ride. It's perfection. I know which one she's talking about, too. Um, yeah, it is pricey, Melissa. I agree. Uh, I don't know if it's Uptown Jewelers. It's, it's it might be called Uptown Jewelers, but it's the one that's got, it's got like artwork in it on Main Street. I don't remember the name of it. Meg's asking uh, Ross 
if you guys are looking for pins in person or online. Tomorrowland store after Space Mountain. Good one, John. Good one. Uh, my Disney Park memories. I got the self-portrait at Memento Moray of, of how you change. I got that done. That was really cool. We still have that somewhere in here. I don't know where it is. But I did get that done. Where is that? I had it. I can't remember what we did with it. But I did get that done. And it was really neat, too. But uh, I have it somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> yep, it's a great souvenir. But there you go. So that's the other one. The other one I like is Behind the Castle. And it's called Sir Mickey's. Don't ask me why. I just... I love Sir Mickey's. First off, I love the whole theming in Sir Mickey's. It looks like the, uh, it's almost like, you know, think of Jack and the Beanstalk and the giant. And you can see the giant coming through the ceiling, or it looks like he's coming through the ceiling. You see his eyes poking through, and you see his hands, and you can see kind of some of the beanstalk. It's a really cool store. It's themed really well. I just think it's a lot of fun in there. And they just do a great job with it. And they have and they have good stuff in there as well. Yes, Amy, I don't know the name of the store, but that's exactly the store I'm talking about. Um, that's exactly one. It looks like a theater entrance, and they run old movies in there a lot. But a lot of different art. Yes, I don't know the name of it, though. It might be Crystal Arts. I'm not sure. It probably is. Yeah, Sir Mickey's is a great store, Cargo. I don't know why. I, it's small. It's not that big. Um, find the giant. Yeah, he's up there. Look in the ceiling. You'll see him peeking through with his eyes. It's so cool. It really is pretty cool. I think it's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Chris, you don't know that. <laughs> Maybe. I do have two left to pick from in Magic Kingdom. We're going to get to those next. But, um, yeah, there are so many stores, Melissa. You're right. Yep, for sure. And the next one on the list is Meg's favorite. It's one of mine, too. I love Memento Mori. Um, anytime you have a Hornet Mansion shop and they sell nothing but Hornet Mansion merchandise, you can't go wrong with that. It's fantastic in there. Um, I wish they sold more. <laughs> I wish it was bigger. That's the only problem with the store. It's not big enough. Um, but they have great stuff in there. I love it. Uh, it's just it's one of the best stores out there. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Make sure she's hiding in the in too. <laughs> but I do. I love Memento Mori. Great store. Lots of great stuff in there. Great t-shirts. They have the sweatshirt that they have in there. I really like. Uh, Memento Mori is fantastic. <laughs> Chris, you're funny. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You you know me. You know me too well, Chris. I gotta give you that. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching the walkthroughs. <laughs> and he's right. That was gonna be my next pick. Is the uh, the ye old Christmas shop is probably my favorite store in the Magic Kingdom. I, I really love that store. Um, we buy something from that shop every single trip. I mean, you've got Christmas and Disney, my two favorite things combined. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, it's just, I love ye old Christmas shop. It really is. It's my favorite. It's my favorite store. Uh, Memento Mori is probably my second favorite. But ye old Christmas shop, just something about it. I could stay oh, in there for forever. I really love it in there. And we we buy, usually we'll buy ornaments, but we bought our, um, our Mickey's Advent calendar that we have, or kind of like the countdown calendar that we have that we showed to you guys. We bought that there. We buy ornaments in there all the time. I had this giant Mickey um, ornament in there that I got one time, and I dropped it and broke it. I, I was so devastated. Um... But they have such great stuff in there. I, I love it in there for sure. Yeah, TTA store would be really cool, John. I agree. That would be fantastic. <laughs> That's true, Meg. If they had a people mover store, the merchandise would be sold out. I agree. I, they, they would never have it in stock. But I do. Ye old Christmas shop is fantastic. I just think that's a really cool store. And, and there's so many stores to choose from. Cargo, which one is that? Which one is the Frontier Land one that has the pins? Um, I know which one you're talking about, but I can't think of the name of it. Um, oh my gosh, isn't that terrible? I can't think of the name of that store. 
but I know which one you're talking about, 100%. Um, they have the pins. Oh, jeez, isn't that terrible? It's. Oh. Is it the one that has the candy in it too, Cargo? The Trading Post. Okay, yeah, and isn't that the one, Cargo, isn't the Trading Post also the one that has all the candy in it? A Carousel of Progress store. Chris says, can we get a Carousel of Progress store where I can buy one of those new appliances? <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Maybe I'll have to look for the hidden Mickeys in there. That's what I'd like to do on our next trip is do some hidden Mickeys for sure. Oh, my God. Hey, Lucky Minute, thank you. We're getting ready to get off ourselves. We're at an hour, so I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for sure. Yeah, the general store. I don't know if that was it or not, Chris, but it might be. Oh, no candy, just pins. And general store must be where the candy is. Yes, Steve, I'm telling you, we love the people move around. I'm not... I'm not sure why you're not on board with this, pal. <laughs> All right, we'll get the we're gonna get the hidden Mickey book for sure. But um, Cargo says, however, two of my most favorite stores are at resorts like BVG and the Contemporary, and Meadow Trading Post at Fort Wilderness. Perfect makes perfect sense, Cargo. I totally understand that. And John says he loves the main shop at Blizzard Beach. <laughs> Brian, there you go. That's a good idea. Mickey's Magic Ear Store. Meg, there you go. That would work. And Meg, you would sell out. I'm sure of it. And that one does exist, but not at Disney. Not yet. There you go. Get the Hidden Mickey app instead of the book by the same guy. Oh, okay. That might not be a bad idea, Steve. Good idea. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, we are on one hour. We are past one hour. And that is my Disney favorite stores up and down Walt Disney World. Tons of them out there. Uh, obviously, you guys have your favorites as well. And there's tons of great ones out there. <laughs> the people movie. Yeah, I know, Chris. I'm telling you. I don't know what's going on with him. Steve does not like the people mover gang. But he will. He certainly will. But... That is going to do it for tonight. Everybody, don't get mad at Steve. He will like the people mover after our trip in August. <laughs> we'll make sure of it. Oh, okay, Brian. Thank you for telling me. I'll look into that and find out what's going on with that, uh, the spreadshirt, spreadshirt link. That should be working. I don't know why it's not. So I'll be sure to check into that. Thank you. But everybody, thank you very much. <laughs> Held up the phone. That's a good one, Chris. Good idea. But um, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate you all very much. I had a great time tonight. We had a lot of chat. You guys were fantastic. Dougie, thank you for the super chat. Very generous again. Uh, definitely makes our night that you guys are so generous out there. Everybody's wonderful. Uh, John, thank you. I'm, I'm glad. I hope you guys did like this. I, I know it's kind of different, but I always like to talk about the stores. It's just something to, to kind of get us in the mood talking about Disney and... Um, Yes, wear your denim this month, folks, especially on the 28th for cargo. But uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the stream. Please hit that like button on your way out. And if you're new to the stream and new to the channel, please subscribe. We'd love for you to do that. And um, we had a great time. I hope everybody did, too. Stacy says, oh, my gosh, did she really? Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, Okay. Brian, I'll look into it and find out what's going on, buddy. I, and my apologies. And I'll send you the link. I appreciate that. Thanks, Brian. But uh, everybody, thank you. Appreciate you coming out. Hope everybody had a great time. Cargo, Chris, Phantom Gazer, Melissa, Brian, Nathan, Meg, Stacy, John, Steve. Rob Fuzz was in here earlier, too. Amy, thank you for stopping in. Um, who else am I missing? Oh, my gosh. R. Johns was in here earlier. Uh, the Lucky Minute was here. We had um, other folks in here as well who I can't remember everybody. I apologize if I didn't. Raw Smear Tour Service was here. Uh, Amy Scott, did I say that? My Disney Park at, uh, Memories was here. Uh, everybody was in here tonight. I definitely appreciate it. Rob Fuzz. I don't know if I said Rob. My Disney Park Memories. I'm just trying to see who I did or didn't say. <laughs> there was all kinds of people in here tonight. Stacy, of course. Cargo. You're all great. I definitely appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Everybody have a great night. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and God bless. I, I really appreciate everybody. You guys mean everything to us. 
Um, Dan always says it, and it's true. You guys are not my subscribers. You're not our subscribers. You're our friends. And it's because of this kind of interaction that makes it for us. But thank you, everybody. <laughs> the cargo wasn't here. She was a figment of our imagination. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you all soon. See you Thursday. And Meg, tomorrow night. Wednesdays in Wonderland with Meg from the live place. Check her out. It's going to be a great stream. I'll see you all there. Hugs and squishes per cargo. <laughs> Bye.